I'm a blue state Republican and I got a problem. I'm feeling the pull toward compassion. It all started when I started tipping with real $20 bills and not the ones with Bible verses on the back. I started listening to women with my mouth closed. I started eating broccoli. Now I'm thinking if my son becomes a they-them, I'll hug them and take them to... Uh... Forever 21? Pack Sun? H&M, wh wherever they want to get new clothes, but not Hot Topic. I, I know that's for posers. I now realize that network news is a commercial enterprise like anything else, and it needs my insecurity for leverage. I have a conflicted sense of self. I feel simultaneously superior and persecuted. I'm just now realizing that the purchase of black and white American flags to put in the back cab glass of my truck, excuse me, of my nice truck, is just a way to manufacture victim status. And you know the worst part about all this? I'm realizing that owning five pickup trucks is unsustainable. Let me tell you about them. But first, I have to break character for a second. This episode of Regular Car Reviews is sponsored by Groove Life. These are my past wallets. For real. I'm one of these Velcro wallet guys. How does that sound when I'm in a nice restaurant paying for everybody who helped me out after a photo shoot? Does this sound like I'm professional? Oh, here comes Brian. He's about to pull out his debit card that his mom is a custodian on the account. This is a wallet that makes you look like a grown-up. Makes you sound like a grown-up too. Ooh, listen to that. You put like all three or four cards in here and it all comes out at the same time. Do they stay in? Yes. And with its durable, high-quality aluminum outer shell, this wallet is unlike any wallet I've ever seen. And unlike my surf wallets, which last, you know, about a year and a half, whatever happens to this wallet and your Groove Life gear, they're here to help. With Groove Life's 94-year no BS warranty, the Groove Wallet is the last wallet you'll ever need. Did it really have to be 94 years? How'd they come up with that number? They could have just said 90, but I guess if it says 94, you know they mean business. I fly a lot. When I go into the American Airlines Admiral's Lounge, I want to look like I belong there. <sighs> no. Here's my card. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ryder. Have a lovely stay. Thank you. Have a good day. It's time to bring your wallet into the 21st century. Head to GrooveLife.com regular and use promo code REGULAR for 20% off all Groove Life products. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use my code, REGULAR, for 20% off your order. One last time, that's promo code REGULAR for 20% off your order. And as always, you can find the discount code URL in the video description below. Okay, and now back to Sam, the Swing State Patriot. I'm going to list for you my five pickup trucks. Number one, my aforementioned nice truck. The paint never touched snow and the bed has never seen a load. Or sunlight for that matter. The tonneau cover stays on. I use tire shine in between the treads. I drive it to the Harley Davidson dealership and pretend I'm going to buy a road kit. Truck number two, my daily truck. This I use for driving to work and carrying things, but only in cardboard boxes. It has seat covers and a bug deflector. It has a hitch receiver, and I use it to flat tow my number three Ford Ranger. I use this for driving to work and carrying small things that are no larger than a microwave, but I don't have to put them in a cardboard box. My Ford Ranger is full of Wawa cups, invoices, and lottery tickets for the million dollar spin. 
Number four, my big vroom vroom big boy truck. Here I go. Vroom 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 big boy truck in a big river. I use it to own people. My kids taught me that word. It's 20 years old. And number five, my beater truck. This is the truck that does truck stuff and protects all my other trucks. But my Ford Ranger is nickel and diming me, and I'm gonna replace it with a new Ford Ranger. But I got, I got this new feeling, and I can't put it into words. But my small truck, I can replace it. I wanna replace it with a car. A hybrid car. But no one can know. No one can know. No one can know. How can I drive something with electric motors that drive wheels instead of electric motors that compress air for bag suspension? But if I buy a Prius, my Facebook group will send me to the break room from Severance. How? How can I secretly, how can I secretly drive a hybrid? It looks just like any other Corolla, and if I get a trim tool and pop up this badge, no one will know. See? See, it's got an exhaust pipe. See? I'm still a good person. It's just a Corolla, fellas. I bought it for my wife. I bought it for my son. I bought it for my daughter. I bought it for my kid. I bought it for my teenagers. But fellas, 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 I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You, you, can, you can only let your kids drive so far. No more than 10 miles. Stay within the school district, right? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? But I gotta drive it. I gotta drive it. I gotta drive it to keep the oil go round. No one will know. 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 If you ever had a friend who joked to the locker room about something you told him in confidence, odds are he was harboring something deep-seated that manifests in two ways. Casual cruelty toward loved ones and a hidden desire to drive a hybrid. Because you can only be told for so long that you're wrong for thinking Guinness tastes like graphite and abandonment issues. Toyota Corolla Hybrid. For the man whose girlfriend is only dating him for the body warmth. He's haunted by how much smarter he used to be before he dumbed himself down to win friends. Because we're all going around in circles, hoping we'll find a chair when the music stops. And I get it. You want to take risks. You want to change. You want to stop compromising yourself to fit in. But you don't see a 400-pound man trying to fit into 34 or 30 pants. And you don't really see people who are interested in electric going for a Corolla hybrid. Because why would you? You're either going to buy a Prius, or if you're going to go electric, go full electric. Go full EV. But these weird half measures, and for a car as boring as the wall underneath the wallpaper, this is the automotive equivalent of standing in line at the DMV while you're on hold with your insurance provider. It has all the modern creature comforts you could ask for, but none of the substance of this exact car. The Toyota Corolla Hybrid is like getting a rental car but not being able to treat it like one because you went and bought the damn thing. Right now it's a car with a bunch of flavorless metropolitan cheek. And only some of it is actually useful. You get safe exit assist to let you know if a car or a bicyclist is about to collide with your door before it opens. You get an EV mode that cuts noise through residential areas in the morning at night and reduces emissions when parking in a small garage or indoor car park. All right, so here we go. How much will this thing go full eco mode? How fast can we go before the battery kicks on? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 
I knew it. 25. Okay, but now we're up to 31. To your point, this is very gentle acceleration. Engine not on yet. 34 miles an hour. 35, engine kicked on. Engine off. 34, come on, can we go past 35? You said 40 once. 35, nope, engine kicked on at 35. Right here. Gas it into this downhill. Gas it into this light downhill. Maybe not. We're uphill now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In short bursts, it does act like an EV, but it's not, so you can justify it to your bigoted small town barfly co workers. Because as long as you still have a car that takes at least some gas, you still have the right to complain about prices. But the Corolla Hybrid is weird. Does it just use the Prius drivetrain? Of course it doesn't. Does it have an engine cover? Not on your life. Spare tire? No. The rear electric motor is there. Gear ratios? How about suck it? ECVT? You betcha. But with a mechanical linkage. Right? Why is it? Thank you, for, uh, to, thank you, Toyota, for a little bit of your weirdness. Everything else is electronic except for this cable. Cable actuated gear shift lever. This is 90s tech in a car from 2023. And where did Corolla route it? Oh, just right on top of everything. There it goes, down there. I guess it's nice. I mean, I guess if you need to move the car and you don't have the key or whatever, you, and you, but you can get the hood open, you can just reach down here and pop that lever into neutral. You can make the false argument that this is JDM because the Corolla Hybrid is made in Japan. They didn't outsource this. The engine under here is a 1.8 liter four-cylinder dual VVTi with electronically controlled continuously variable transmission, sequential multi-port fuel injection, and an electronic on-demand all-wheel drive, which means this is a traditional front engine hybrid, but they took a second motor, and it's a dual motor hybrid, and they have a little one in the back that just runs the rear wheels. There's this adorable little diff back there with a motor on it, and... You know, it, it, it's like the size from a four-wheeler and then two little half shafts going to the rear wheels. All in all, you get 134 horsepower and 156 pound-feet of torque. Fuel economy estimates are in the range of 53 city, 46 highway, and 50 combined. And 50 combined is what you can get from a 1996 Geo Metro. Now, this is interesting. Starting MSRP suggested manufacturer's retail price is $24,000 in 2023. That's cheap. I'm pretty sure the Steeler ships are going to try to bump this thing up to 30 grand. This is the youngest car we've done, current year, and the odometer sits at 3,451 miles. And you think the newness of this car would translate to a more energetic experience, but I've filled toilet bowls with things more colorful and propulsive than this. Look. The Corolla dual motor hybrid is not a bad car, but among the cars that could propel you into an exciting world of electricity, it's not even the best Toyota. The Toyota Corolla all-wheel drive hybrid is satisfying in the same way free food is satisfying. You don't care about the quality because it's free nutrients. It's sustenance. The Toyota Corolla dual motor all-wheel drive hybrid is a free apple in the break room. Oh good, Cliff didn't eat them all. I'll sit here with a crossword puzzle and enjoy this apple. And for five minutes, I can forget I'm in an office building with the decor of a Toyota Corolla dual motor all-wheel drive hybrid. Toyota Corolla dual motor all-wheel drive hybrid. When you're finally ready for an affair and you decide to risk it all with lunch lady Agnes. Hey, it's still a well-rounded Toyota product with Toyota build quality. and yet. If you're going to make the leap to electric, even if it's just at the hybrid level, you can do better than this. Just get a Prius. Wanting change is good. Wanting to grow is better. But there's nothing wrong with holding yourself to a higher standard. Walking into strip motels, asking for some wine. You haven't seen your best friend Kelly since late 2005. Dating man on wearing do broke errands, talking shop. Go in.
and now for soda and returning with a pop. There it is again, a new Toyota, a new Toyota. There it is again, a new Toyota.